Welcome to another episode of How To with Puma McKinsey's. I've got a great idea for today. Let's watch one of those video questions and I'm going to show you how to be awesome. Hey Puma McKinsey's, how do I deal with the storms in my life? Well that's a tubular question Molly. But first, my name is McKinsey's, not McKinsey's or whatever you said. Storms can be pretty tough to deal with, but I know exactly what can help you. First, you're going to need a toothbrush, some deodorant, a bobblehead, and some toilet paper. And then a symbol like so. Bam! You got yourself a brand new anti-storm water resistant vest. You put this thing on and you're completely resistant to all types of weather. The best part is it's 100% waterproof. So hey, don't take old Puma's word for it, we're going to get a demonstration. Hey sir, would you mind helping me out testing my brand new vest? Sure, it sounds fun. Great, what's your name? Uh, Doug. Hi mom. Alright Doug. We're going to use you to test out our anti-storm vest. Okay. We're going to put the vest on you, which, take my word for it, is completely waterproof. Okay, well, are, are you sure about it? Because this just looks like a sweater. Don't worry about anything, Danny. Uh, it's Doug. My name is Doug. Yeah, sure, whatever. Are you ready, Doug? Uh, alright, I guess so, but... Are you really sure this is waterproof? It, just, right, look, it just looks like a regular sweater. Let him have it! Let's test it out. Hmm. Uh, yes. It looks pretty good to me. What are you talking about? I'm completely soaked. Ah, uh, well, there. Don't worry about it, bro. I'll dry you off. <sighs> Forget it. I can't believe this happened to me. Well, there you have it, kids. Another successful episode where we show you how to. Until next uh, hey, time. Hey, 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 uh, Puma. Ah, uh, what's up, Jed? Uh, listen, sorry to interrupt you, but I, I really, again, I don't think that you really understood what the question was. Really? I thought I was pretty straightforward. Well, yeah, you were, but the question the kid was asking was actually not about rainstorms. It was more about the storms we face in life. You know, the troubles that come our way. In fact, I think you might want to pay attention to today's Bible story. Oh, is it about Frank? Frank? No, the Apostle Paul, the one we've been learning about? Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Well, that's it for today, kids. Until next time on How To with Puma McKinsey's. Good morning, boys and girls. This is Miss Cynthia. Thank you for joining me this Sunday. Um, today we're going to continue our series of uh, how to, and um, I guess we'll be talking about how to survive a storm. And our Bible story today takes us to the book of Acts, uh, chapter 27, verses 20 through 26. And um, it's actually uh, how Paul survives a storm or how, uh, when he's in a storm. So do you remember last Sunday when we talked about, um, you know, what was going on in Paul's life, how he was being held prisoner uh, by a Roman soldier called Julius, and um, they were attempting to sail a ship into Rome. So however, if you remember, a storm came and, um, and caused him to have a change, uh, and caused him to, you know, change directions and uh, sail to Crete instead. And so, do you remember uh, what happened after that? You know, uh, Paul told them to stop somewhere and and wait out the storm. You know, he advised, remember, the Roman soldier um, that they should go ahead and wait out the storm um, before continuing to sail. But instead, you know, um, instead of listening to Paul's wise advice, they kept sailing 
and um, you know, and they found themselves in a bigger in a bigger storm that they could than they could handle on their own. And so um, they even ended up, uh, you know, throwing throwing their cargo overboard because the ship was just being tossed so so violently, you know. And so um, there, that's where we pick up our Bible story today. You know, they were uh, they were in the middle of this huge storm, and everyone in the ship was just losing their mind. You know, they were scared. They were um, afraid. Um, they were getting really worried for their lives, you know. Um, however, Paul had strong faith in God and he told the soldiers, um, he told the soldiers on the crew that, you know, um, to not be afraid. You know, he said, hey, hey guys, you know, don't be afraid. None of you will lose your lives. And so you see, boys and girls, uh, Paul knew that even in the midst of this huge storm that they found themselves in, um, God was there. God was there and he would protect them, you know, and Paul knew this, boys and girls. And so you say, well, you know, how, how did he know? How did Paul know that God would, would protect them? You know, uh, what made him so sure that they wouldn't all just lose their lives? You know, uh, how did he know? How did he have this uh, confidence in, in, in the faith and in what he, what he believed, you know? Um, so he continued to explain to the men on the ship, you know, about how an angel of God, he said, you know, an angel of God, of God visited me and he told me that all of us would survive. And so, um, Paul had heard an angel of God and, um, and that angel of God said, um, that God would protect them all and that they would survive the storm, you know? And then, so the ship was tossed around in the storm and so much so boys and girls that eventually they wrecked, you know, the ship wrecked and, um, uh, you know, near an island. Oh, or on an island shore, and, you know, and so you're probably thinking, well, you know, um, I thought God was going to protect them. Why did the ship get destroyed? Why were they shipwrecked? You know, um, so you, you're probably thinking, you know, if, if, if God said everyone would, would survive and be okay, why, why did this happen? You know? And so it, you know, it, I guess to us, it doesn't really sound like, you know, like God was with them, you know, because they ended up shipwrecked and, and, you know, they crashed into an island. And so, um, boys and girls, you know what? That's not at all what happened. You see, in spite of the shipwreck, God still protected them. You know, they protected the, he protected the men on the ship and Paul, the soldiers and the crew, they were all safe. So even though the ship was probably, you know, um, wrecked into pieces, everyone on that ship survived boys and girls and that's what god had promised right that's what the um the angel uh of god had said that no one would lose their lives and that's exactly what happened no one lost their lives and so what happened is they ended up crawling out of the ship uh onto the shore alive you know and so god protected them in the midst of this uh huge awful violent storm you know um God protected them, you know, and so boys and girls, before we continue on with our, with our lesson today, let's go over our power verse. We just found it in Isaiah 25, four. Okay. Lord, you are my refuge from the storm. Lord, you are my refuge from the storm. Isaiah 25, four boys and girls. And so, um, today in our lesson, we're going to learn how God is always with you in the storms of life. You know, um, he will always take care of you no matter what you face, you know, um, just like he did with Paul and, and everyone on the ship, he took care of them. And, you know, so let's say for example, you know, have you ever had a really awesome, you know, plans to go somewhere and do something fun outside, you know, like you've been planning it for, for days, for weeks, you know, and it's just going to be like the biggest, best, the best day ever for you. Right. And so you've been making all of these plans and kind of playing things out in your head and maybe who knows, maybe you're going to a really fun park or maybe, I don't know, you're going on a camping trip with your family, or maybe you're going to go to a water park or an amusement park, or maybe you're just going to go on a really awesome vacation that you've been waiting for all year, right? Maybe it's summertime and you guys are, um, planning to go on vacation. And so then, um, all of a sudden, you know, when you're getting ready for your best day ever, you know, it starts to rain so much. So in fact, it starts to pour 
And so uh, it starts raining really hard and then suddenly thunder and lightning and the wind starts to blow. And before you know it, you're in the middle of a full blown storm. You know, now all of a sudden, guess what? Your best day ever turns into the worst day ever, right? Um, your plans are ruined. So has that ever happened to you? Yeah, it's happened to me too, but you know, I survived, not a problem. Okay, so boys and girls, um, you might be thinking that, you know, that's just the worst. You know, the, the best day that I had planned for my entire life, I've been waiting for this all year, all school year, is ruined, right? You know, it, you might be thinking, isn't that the worst? Boys and girls, you had something, you know, you had something to do, but a huge storm comes and ruins your plans. You know, hey, that's just the way life is sometimes, you know, sometimes, um, you're going along with life and suddenly out of nowhere, you know, a storm comes. And so boys and girls, I'm not talking about, um, you know, a real storm, like with rain and thunder and lightning. I'm talking about tough times. I'm talking about like, um, you know, like your mom getting sick and going to the hospital or, um, getting some really bad grades in school. Um, or, you know, finding out that your best friend, um, is talking behind your back or maybe not that maybe your best friend is just moving away, you know, or maybe just feeling lonely at school. Maybe you feel like you have no friends at school and you're like, man, this is, this is the worst day. This is the worst school year of my life. You know? So boys and girls, those are the storms that I'm talking about. Those are the storms of life. And you see, um, that brings us to part of our lesson today. Okay, um, boys and girls, life is full of storms. It, it is. I mean, I wish I could tell you that that uh, following Jesus Christ and serving Him is gonna be is gonna be easy, and and your life is never gonna be problematic. It's just gonna be happy all the time. But it's not, boys and girls. The truth is that life is full of storms. You know, even as a child, even as a grown up, you just have different kind of storms. You know. But you're gonna have troubles, right? Storms, troubles. So we're kind of using uh, those words um, similarly, or um, to mean the same thing, you know. Um, so it's true. Life is full of storms, and you know, uh, it seems like as soon as you finally get through one storm, then another one comes. You know, you can even ask your parents. Parents, uh, grown-ups, go go through this all the time. You know, they get through, they get over one problem, and then here comes another one. You know. And so just like the weather, you know, is full of storms, you know, and it's, and it's always raining somewhere in the world, you know, our lives are storms too. Our full, well, they're full of storms and everybody has problems, boys and girls. Um, but you know what the difference is between, uh, somebody that believes in Christ and somebody that does not, when, um, when we're talking about storms or problems that we know, we know in our hearts that God is there with us. He will never leave us and he will never forsake us, right? Even in the middle of our storms. And so, um, boys and girls, um, you know, when a storm pops up in your life, you know, don't let it throw you off. Don't let it, you know, just ruin your day or don't let it make you quit or, um, or give up, you know, just know that there will be a lot of storms that come up in your life. Some will be easier than others, uh, you know, to overcome. Um, and some are going to be very difficult to get through, you know. Um, and sometimes when we're facing a tough storm, you know, um, it's very easy to become discouraged. It's very easy to to say, you know, this is so this is so hard. This is too much. I, I just can't anymore. I give up. Uh, it's useless. It's worthless. I'm just not, you know, I'm just not going to win. I'm just going to lose the battle with this storm, you know? And so boys and girls, it's easy to become discouraged, you know? And you know, that may be how you feel sometimes, uh, but that's not the truth at all, boys and girls. When we're facing a storm, we have to remember and listen very, very carefully, boys and girls. We have to remember that God is bigger than our storm and he can help us, you know? Our, per, um, our power verse says today, Oh Lord, you are refuge from the storm. You are my refuge from the storm, Lord. So God is our refuge and he knows what to do when we're in storms that are, um, that are out of, con out of our control. You know, he knows exactly what to do. 
when we feel out of control, when, we, when we're when we lost, when, when we don't know what to do, God knows exactly what to do, boys and girls. And so guess what? We just have to trust and have faith that God will help us, right? In fact, you know, um, in the middle of the storm, while you're in the storm, while the waves of life are just tossing you back and forth, have faith, have faith in the storm. You know, sometimes, um, We'll face storms that we just don't understand. We're like, why is this happening to me? I don't understand. I think I've been doing everything right. So why is this happening to me? You know, and we don't, we don't understand how, how we can make it through. How are we going to, how are we going to survive this storm? You know, um, sometimes we'll face storms that we do, we just, we don't know which way to go. We're confused. We're like, um, should I, I don't know what to do, you know, but boys and girls, Proverbs, Three, five, and six say, remember, this is our power verse from last week. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path, right? Like if you just put it in God's hands, he's going to tell you what to do, how to do it, and where, right? So trust in him, boys and girls. You know, so um, when you're facing storms that are too difficult, you know, to understand, um, you don't know why they're happening or why it's happening to you or why it's happening to someone that you love, you know, um, how can we make it out? Um, you know, how can we make it out of the storm? We just have to trust in God. I mean, that's the, that's the only thing. That's the only way out. Trust in God, you know, and so we have to have faith. And so having faith will help us um, make it through the storms of life boys and girls because we're gonna have we're gonna have so many of those don't be discouraged and so you know uh, Jesus said in Matthew 17 10 truly I tell you if you have faith as small as a mustard seed you can say to this mountain move from here to there and it will move you know nothing will be impossible for you so do you know how um, small a mustard seed is I can't quite remember but it's pretty small you know, maybe like a, a grain of sand or a grain of sugar. I mean, those things are, are, are tiny, perhaps microscopic, you know, they're so tiny. But what God is telling us, boys and girls, is that a little, a little tiny bit of faith goes a long way, you know. So imagine if a little, you know, a little tiny seed, you know, your faith is about, you know, when you're going through the storm and everything and maybe you're losing faith, even if you have that much faith that God will pull through, you know, you can say to a mountain, move and move. And, you know, by mountains, like mountains of problems, you know, like if you have a problem that is so huge that you don't know how you're going to get over it, kind of like a, you know, a huge mountain, um, this much faith, boys and girls, will get rid of that problem, right? And so imagine... You know what can happen if you have a huge amount of faith right if it's not this small but if, if, if your whole heart and your whole mind and and you're just um, full of faith right all of your faith all the faith that you have is is in Christ imagine what can happen to that problem you know so boys and girls um, we should have a huge amount of faith even in the midst of our toughest storms you know even even if it seems like it's the worst day of your life, you know, um, have faith, boys and girls, because we have, because we have huge faith, you know, God will always be there for us, you know, um, God is there even in the storm, even when you feel alone, like you're going through your problem alone, God is there, boys and girls, God is there in the middle of it, you know, he will never leave us. He'll never abandon us. God is there, even in the storm. Um, no matter how tough the storm is that you may be facing, um, you're not alone. You're not facing it alone. God will always take care of you. And he is the best one. He is the best one to have with you, to have on your side when you're facing a storm. He is stronger than anyone else. He is bigger than anyone else. He is smarter and wiser than anyone else. And he's just the best at everything, you know? And so there's no one, no one, nothing greater to have with you when you're in a storm, you know? And so when you're facing a storm, you should always remember to have faith, um, faith in God, 
because he's there with you. Even if you feel alone, just know, just remember that God is there with you, boys and girls. And so um, let's go over a power verse today again, you know, um, and it's found in Isaiah 25, 4. And it says, Oh Lord, you are my refuge from the storm. You are my refuge from the storm, Isaiah 25, 4. And boys and girls, um, my prayer for you today and always, always is that um, if you're currently facing a storm, if you're currently um, going through something, through a problem that you, you think you, you can't get out of, or there's no fixing that problem or there's no solution, um, just remember that God is with you in the middle of your storm. God is with you, boys and girls, and we're with you too. I'm with you too. You know, um, I love you, and I pray, and I pray, and I pray, boys and girls, that you survive the storm that you are in, that um, that God just um, keeps you safe and gives you a wisdom to navigate through the storm, right? Um, boys and girls, have faith. Have faith that um, that God is there with you, that God will get you, get you, um, through the storm and you're not alone. You're not alone. I'm here. You know, if you go, uh, if you, uh, come see me at city church, Houston, then, um, we can pray about it in person. You know, um, I'm there. Um, I'm always there every Sunday. So, um, come see me if you get a chance, uh, and make new friends. Boys and girls, I love you. And I hope you have a great Sunday and I hope you have a great rest of the week. I'll see you. Bye.